Hi, hello, hi. It's me, not Bob Ross. Today, I wanted to make another art video for you because I have a lot of fun making them. Don't know if you like them yet or not. <laughs> and I was going to doodle anyway, so I figured why not film and doodle? So what I've done is I've asked you all, or at least those of you following me on Instagram, to leave me some drawing prompts. And I'm going to draw some of those prompts because it's fun. All right, so without further ado, let's get to drawing. I'm gonna put my headphones on because I prefer to draw while I listen to music, but hopefully I'll still speak loud enough that you could hear me because I have this great habit of whispering when I have my headphones on, so. Okay, so first drawing prompt. I remember someone asking me to draw a lemon in a hat, but it could just be that I'm dyslexic and nobody asked me to draw that, but I read it. But I really want to draw a lemon wearing a hat, so <laughs> we're gonna start with that one. It's hard to draw at this angle because I'm not directly above what I'm drawing, so I can't actually see what it looks like. I'm looking at it at a weird angle. I usually draw with things like tilted up toward me. It's going to be his little lemon leg. Give him some nice calves. Don't know if I want to give him like toes. I feel like a lemon shouldn't have toes. Okay, we're gonna make him terrible, okay? He has toes. He only has four toes and I'm not sorry. Four toes is more than enough for a lemon, I think. I think no toes would be more than enough for a lemon, but this lemon could bench press your dad. That's a weird angle for a leg. There, that's a little better. Because I'm very concerned with the anatomical correctness of a lemon person. We wouldn't want this to be unrealistic, would we? Can I just say I'm listening to Undertale music while I draw? And like, I don't think that there is a happier feeling in the world for me. <laughs> like, I just feel so complete right now. Ugh, thank you for letting me do this. This is just, this makes me so happy. <laughs> Everything about this makes me happy. Hmm, I kind of want to experiment with some markers and stuff. Gosh darn, these are hard to use. I mean, I'm sure they're not actually hard to someone who's ever held a marker in their life, but I'm just not a marker kind of guy, you know? My light source makes no sense. The front of the leg should have been light, the back of the leg should have been dark, if the light is coming that way. I mean, it's a lemon person. Really, are we gonna start getting into the facts of science here? Good excuses, Aaron. Hmm. So it looks like the Pens and markers are not playing nice together. What kind of markers are these? I feel like it probably says it somewhere, but I'm just not picking up on it. I thought smelling it would tell me. Oh wait, do, hmm, he doesn't have an ear, so I guess these are just gonna be like Morpheus sunglasses. Oh, I, I see what I could have used to shade this a little more smoothly. I feel like this might have been a good idea, just to like, Lightly darken things? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I should have been using this. Oh well. Oh dear. Oh. Oh no. Okay. Let's give him some little spots. Cause after all, he is a lemon. Maybe he gets freckles when he goes out in the sun, you know? It is debatable as to whether or not this is a lemon or an orange. Anyway, that's that on that. Cool, uh, this is horrifying. Just give him more leg, just why? Because why not, honestly, at this point? Why the heck not? Because I like to sign my garbage. Anyway, that's my lemon boy. All right, cool, next. Uh, let's try some marker paper. I haven't used this in a while. Um, and I have a drawing prompt here. I don't know if this will end up being scary, probably, because I'm actually a nightmare child. A boy with flowers coming out of his eyes and mouth. It sounds lovely, but I don't doubt my ability to make it terrifying, so. <laughs> God, it's really hard to draw at an angle. Like, everything I'm looking at looks like this. So it's just, when you look at it straight on, it doesn't look like what I looked at anymore. Stop making excuses. Okay, let's give him some hair. Ugh. 
Listen, like I said, happy, uh, happy little accidents. Happy little accidents. <laughs> Do you ever just like hate something and want to stop working on it? That's this. Honestly, if this paper could withstand more, I would do more. <laughs> but it is actually disintegrating in my hands. Anyway, you ever make something terrible and hate it? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's this. I'm uh, not a fan. And like the paper doesn't really work well. I'm gonna try watercolor paper with the watercolor markers, see how that goes. This is a very tiny paper, so maybe I'll just zoom into that. I'll draw a newt in a suit, except I'm not exactly sure what a newt looks like, so we're just gonna try. It's gonna be a business newt. This is Ned the Newt, coming home after a long day at the office, you know? I mean, what is newt anatomy like, anyway? Honestly, I'm basically drawing Dino from the Flintstones. He has weird dinosaur bird feet, okay? Give him talons. Why? Because I don't know what a newt looks like. And he's holding his little bus pass between his toes, waiting to get it scanned. Okay, so what I want to try to do with our Biznute man is I'm going to try these watercolor brush pens on this watercolor paper, seeing as how it completely obliterated the marker paper. So if it doesn't work on regular sketchbook paper and it doesn't work on marker paper, surely it must work on watercolor paper. So we're going to start light and then get darker. This is still feeling kind of rough for uh, marker. I think it feels a bit like it's eating the paper. Uh, this is what I should have used when I drew the lemon before. You live and you learn, I guess. Uh, I wish I had brown, because I feel like his suitcase should be brown. We're gonna try to make a brown suitcase, all right? So let's see if we could add just a couple of shadows in here. Ah, it's just, it's spreading, it's bleeding everywhere. That's frustrating. Hey, welcome back to Aaron Makes Excuses. I'm Aaron. I make excuses. All right, so this is Ned the Newt. Hang on, let me mess it up first and then show it to you because I never know when to stop. Cool, so this is Ned, uh, short for Nedward. Ned is a newt in a suit. He's just trying to make his way to work, you know, provide for his family, the wife and kids, you know. And uh, yeah, here is Ned's bus pass that he's scanning while he holds his coffee and his little briefcase. And uh, that's about it. So we have Lemon Boy. There he is. We have whatever this is. <laughs> uh, it's something. And we have Ned the Newt. Do I sign this? I feel like I need to sign this. Oh, and I didn't sign this monstrosity yet. Oh, hang on. There you go. So let me know what you think. This took me a lot longer than I thought because I got really caught up on this one drawing, trying to make it turn into something. But hopefully next time I'll have time to do more drawings because uh, Ned the Newt and Lemon Boy really didn't take me that long. And honestly, they were way more fun to draw. So I think next time I'm gonna try to not 
this. Let me know if you'd like me to take more drawing prompts. This time I decided to focus on trying to use markers. I have yet to find a paper that doesn't disintegrate when I use these Ecoline brush tip markers, but they're great. It's just the paper falls apart. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to leave more drawing prompts in the comment section of this video. And that's it. I hope you have a great day and a great week and you take care of yourselves. All right, thanks. Bye. Yeah, look at my hand. <laughs>